Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Matt Don't Play, and you're watching episode three of The Old Pig Farm. And farm setup continues when I take those two newly plowed fields from rough to something that plants can't wait to grow in, and the local cell barn called and said our piglets are ready. Let's get started. While Grandpa was here last time, we did a little investigating, and he found a little bit of grain left in those grain bins. While it's too old to sell, it might be just right to get us started in the pig farming business. So I called the local cell barn, and they have some piglets ready to go. So I'm gonna hop in the truck and see if these piglets are worth buying. Made it to the sale barn, now let's get to negotiating. Well, hello there, sir. Oh, yep, I was the one that called about the piglets. Yep, okay. Oh, they're not all out of the same litter? That's okay. Oh, and their runts? Again, I can't be picky. I'm just trying to get started here. So I think that'll do. So let's go take a look. Maybe we can work out a price from there. Well, you've got a deal. Oh, one last thing. Do you guys rent trailers? I don't own one. I saw there was one in the shed and didn't know if it was available. If so, I'll rent that too. Now that that's sorted out, let's drive over here and get this trailer loaded up with our new pigs. Well, the reason that they were still here was that they were all runts of the litter. But sometimes you gotta take a chance in this farming business. So I did. Grandpa used to raise pigs on his farm, so I'm sure he'll have some great advice. But knowing my grandpa, most of his advice will be, you gotta figure it out on your own. And just like that, the pigs are ours. Let's head back to the farm. Good thing it was a quick trip because these piglets are getting restless back there. So let's head on over to the pig pen that we've got ready for them and get them unloaded. Also, need to get them some food and water. So a trip to the shop is in order. They're all unloaded now. Hopefully they get acclimated to the new pen real quick. But until then, we gotta get this trailer back. They gave me a good hourly deal on it, so I don't want to waste any more time. Got a few calls to make to set up the new farm account, so I'll catch up with you when I get back to the farm. All the accounts are set up, and I got one last call to make. Let's call the shop and get a new water trailer for my pigs. Got to make sure that they're watered and fed. Think I'm going to lease this one. Let's go get it. Hey guys, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Working on a couple of builds and even a let's play for UMRV. So hit that subscribe button, follow along, turn on that notification bell, and it'll let you know when I drop my next video. Anyway, I hope you all are enjoying the content, so let's keep it up. There it is, looks pretty good sitting out there in the parking lot. And while I'm here, I got some more business to take care of. Got a call from the county agronomist. He says we need a little bit of lime to get these fields in tip top shape. So let's talk to the guys at the store and see if we can get something rented. Hey guys, thanks for getting my water trailer ready. Sure is gonna help out a bunch. Got one more thing for you. I need a lime trailer. Is that something you all can help me out with? You got one on the back lot? Great. Oh, it just came back off rental. It needs to be filled up. Okay, no problem. What time do you think it'll be ready? Oh, sometime this afternoon? Perfect. Count me in. Well, that's just too easy. Those are some great guys there and they helped me out a lot. Looking forward to working with them in the future, especially when I start buying new equipment for the farm. But until then, we gotta get these pigs watered. I'm sure they're pretty thirsty. 
So let's head back. Those pigs sure are loud. I can hear them through the truck window. Probably pretty thirsty, hungry, and probably missing their moms. But we'll get them taken care of here, get them full of water. I do have this hose bib here, and I'm gonna fill up the trailer this time, but the water's just too poor of quality to give to my pigs from this hose. So that's why I got the trailer. Just another future farm improvement. Add to the list and get this farm in tip top shape. Well, it's almost lunchtime. I got some leftover pulled pork, but if I'm hungry, I know the pigs are hungry. So let's get them fed first, and then I'll get lunch for myself. Got the Oliver out today. Perfect tractor for these gravity bins. Get some feed moved around for these pigs. Well, I hope grandpa wasn't playing a trick on me, because this bin sure seems to be empty. So let's park this one back and I'll try the other one. Man, I don't think I'll ever get used to backing up trailers with steering axles. It honestly might be the first thing I upgrade on the farm. What do you guys think? Okay, here we go. Grandpa's right. We have a little bit of corn and a little bit of soybeans left. And now that I see it, definitely can't sell it. It's been in there way too long. But these pigs will love it. Who knows? It might even be ferment enough to cause these pigs to run around in circles. You can definitely tell that they were hungry. As soon as that corn hit the trough, they were running towards it. So let's fill it up and get these pigs to gain in weight. Okay, 8,000 liters, all in. Need a couple more things, but I think this corn will hold them off for a while. Well, now that they're fed, I can eat my lunch. Leftover pulled pork sandwiches from last night. Sounds pretty good to me. The guys at the shop called said my spreader is filled up, so let's get the truck and get it back to the farm. Well, I can only imagine, since you've made it this far, you must like this video and like what I'm doing. So I hope that you choose to hit that like button for me. It's the easiest way to show support for this channel and lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. It's a simple gesture on your part, but it's huge for small channels like mine. So if you watch videos like this, especially from small creators, be sure to hit that like button for them and let YouTube know you want to see more of this. Now that I'm back on the farm, I parked this over here next to the field so I didn't have to cart it all around everywhere. So let's go get the tractor and let's get started. Time to put this big old Alice Chalmers to work. Figured it'd be the perfect tractor to spread some lime today and want to put it through its paces to see what this thing can do. Before my grandpa gave it to me, it had been sitting a while on his farm. So I wanna put it to the test now with the lime spreader so I can make sure it can do the work that I needed to this fall and spring. Well, we got this heavy old spreader rolling. Man, look at the swath on that spreader. With these tiny fields, it'll take me no time, which is perfect because I got a lot of things to do. Well, I guess next time I'll pay attention a little more. Maybe I don't need that big of a spreader. I can also tell I bought way too much lime for these two fields. Probably should have done a few more calculations or calculations at all to figure out how much lime I needed for these fields. Oh well, looks like I'm gonna have plenty left over. May not have to buy any for a while then, but it means I'm gonna have to find a place to store it. Farmer problems. On to the next field here. Let's see if we can knock it out real quick. can't thank you all enough for your support and watching my videos and hitting that like button. But if you want another way to support my channel, be sure to scan those QR codes at the end. I am a Giants partner, so use that code. It's a direct download to the game. You don't have to wait for it in the mail. You download it and you can play it as soon as it's ready. But you've already got the game and you've thought, man, this guy sounds like he likes coffee. Well, you'd be correct. Use that other QR code and buy me a coffee simple as that cold brew for those that are wondering anyway it's totally up to you just thought i'd mention it no matter how you choose to support me it doesn't go unnoticed
Well, I think I need to do the right thing and check to see if any neighbors need any help. Well, they've all got fertilizing contracts. No one needs lime right now. Well, it was worth a shot. So let's see about getting this thing unloaded and back to the shop so someone else can use it. Well, let's head back here, get this lime dropped off, and we'll take the spreader back to the shop. But I think with that, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button. Leave a comment on this and all my videos. Share this video with friends and family. Use those QR codes above to support the channel. Well, I should probably get going. Until next time, I'm Matt Don't Play.